Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. So this is now the beginning of Season 2 guys in the Premier League. So if you've not seen the last season, definitely go watch it. Uh, I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description down below. But this is Season 2 guys and this is the start of our Premier League adventure. So uh, here is the squad that we're currently left with at the moment. So this is probably the strongest squad we've got at the moment. We've got Garner St And then guys, here is our transfer budget. So I was contemplating whether to use the transfer, uh, the financial boost or not from the catalogue. And I was thinking about it for a while. Well, I thought that no, I want to make this a challenge. I'm going to be upping the difficulty in this as well. We're going to be upping it to legendary, and we're also going to be using the funds which are available to us. So at the moment, it's 13 million with 94k on the wage budget. But before we do anything, guys, we need to, of course, pick a pre season tournament, which is what we need to do first of all. So uh, I think that a pre season tournament could be pretty big for us. So let's see how much money we're going to be getting from this. So that's pretty decent 2.7 million from a pre season tournament. We'll go ahead and accept that one. So uh, that will go a long way in improving our squad, hopefully. And so in terms of the preseason tournament, I'm going to be simming all the group stage matches and then all the matches after that I will play them. So I think that's a nice way to do it. So as you can see here, guys, the loans have expired for this guy who we got on loan from Chelsea. I think he played about twice for us last season, but Adam Reach's loan has also expired as well. Bit disappointed with that. I'm contemplating whether to put in a bid for Adam Reach, but as uh, I, I did like using him, and I think he's only 23, 66 rated. He could be a decent squad player, so I'll go ahead and put in a cheeky bid straight away of 500k. Not saying we're going to go ahead with that, but uh, because there probably will be better options, and also Cal Reed has left the club as well as he did sign a pre-contract with Shrewsbury, so we're okay with that that's not too much to worry about so guys based on what you said in the last episode this is the shortlist which I currently had so throughout the transfer window I will be adding to this and taking players off it and uh, so basically this is what we got at the moment I think a goalkeeper I think we should get a goalkeeper in we do have Chris Kirkland in at the moment who is a pretty capable goalkeeper but I think for the Premier League we're going to be get, having a lot of shots so I think bringing the goalkeeper in will be a bad thing I, th I think that who I want to get is between these two. It's between Andres Lindegaard, who of course plays for Preston now in real life. He is on loan to Preston from West Brom. And also Daniel Bentley. Obviously, Lindegaard's a lot more experienced. He's 10 years older. But Daniel Bentley's a very good keeper on this game. And his potential is really good. So what we're going to do straight away, we're going to inquire about both of them. And see what sort of money we're talking for them both. Got some good options. For a left back, I'm going to inquire about Rico Henry. Uh, he's got a massive potential on this game, and he can do some definite damage for us. Greg Cunningham's a great player, but Rico Henry as backup will be very good. Very pacey as well. Then, as a midfielder, we got a couple of options here. Quite a few people were suggesting Nathan Redmond. He's going to take a massive chunk out of our budget, but I think Nathan Redmond could be a very deadly player. Getting in a winger for this series will definitely be a big thing for us, I think, as well. We're inquiring about quite a lot of players, just so we get a gist of how much these players are actually going to cost us, because I've got a feeling that to stay up this year. We're going to need to sign quite a lot of players, especially if you look at our squad depth. So I think we're going to have to sign quite a lot of players. And Okay guys, so we have some of our inquiries back. We've got one for Rico Henry here saying that Walsall would like 850k. That's quite a lot of money. And Newcastle would like 1.7 million for Adam Armstrong. So Rico Henry is definitely someone that I'm looking to pursue. He's there. Uh, I actually had a Walsall career mode. I just made one for, for the fun of it. And I think after the first season, he grows to quite a lot. For, for an 18 year old, he could be very deadly indeed for us. He's only on 1k a week, so he's not on much at all. I'll go ahead and put in a bid of 500k for now hopefully they'll accept that they might not we'll go back and forth with that but hopefully they do accept that Okay, now here's where it gets interesting. We got a lot of inquiries back here. And West Brom were like 7 million for Lindegaard. I don't think that's going to happen, if I'm being honest, guys. Daniel Bentley, 2.2 million. That's a bit more realistic. Still a lot of money for a goalkeeper who's not experienced in this league. But I'm thinking I may go ahead with that. Danny Simpson, 1.3 million. Damari Gray, 3.9. Vyman, 1.4. 6.5 for him. That's quite a lot. I've also offered Stevie May a new contract, uh, as he did. He wasn't happy with his current wages, which I thought was fine. So I decided to him, offer him a new contract. So are these deals so far. I think Danny Simpson's one we're definitely going to go ahead with. I'm um, very interested in getting Danny Simpson in. I'm going to ahead put 800k in for him. He's only a squad rotation player for Leicester and obviously as they've gone down to the championship, hopefully they'll be up for um, accepting those sort of bids and Daniel Bentley I definitely want to get in through the door. So I'll go ahead and put in a bid of 1.5 million. That takes quite a bit out of our wage budget but he's only on 4k a week. I don't think he'll want that much in terms of wages so I'll go ahead and do that. Damari Graham, very interested in. Vyman, I'm definitely interested in. I'll leave those Okay, guys, so we have our final scout reports on Kodja and on a phobia as well. So Kodja is 72 rated. Here are his stats, and he's looking pretty decent. I can't lie about that. He's fast, he's big, he's strong. That's all we're really looking for in a striker at this point in time, really. And in terms of a phobia, he's 75 rated. So at this point in time, there's a big price difference between them, and... Uh, it's 
I'm honestly thinking I'm edging towards going to Kodja at this point in time. So we're going to put in a bid for Kodja. He's going to take quite a bit out of our uh, actual budget at this point in time. But 72 rated, 26. I think he'll be decent for us. I can't lie about that. So we'll go ahead and offer 2.4 million for Jonathan Kodja. I think Kodja could be decent for us in this series. He's the sort of striker we need. We need a big, tall striker. So uh, we'll go ahead and offer Kodja a contract. And Adam Reach has actually accepted that. So that's very good indeed. Well, he wants a weird wage uh, there. We'll go ahead and offer him that. And we'll go ahead. We'll say squad rotation player. See if he accepts that. Because in all honesty, that's what it'll probably be. But uh, in terms of squad depth, Adam Reach would definitely help out. Yes, guys, so Southend have accepted that. That is absolutely massive for us, for Daniel Bentley. And he wants 20 grand. Blimey, he wants a big wage increase. I suppose coming to the Premier League, I'm not actually sure what he's going to be. So I'm going to say do not specify, but I'm giving him the contract he wants. Hopefully, he will accept that, as I'm very interested in getting Daniel Bentley in this. For offer here for John Welsh. So it pains me to do this because John Welsh has been such a good warrior for us. But I'm going to be accepting that deal. 140 grand to Coventry City. John Welsh, you've been an absolute legend for the club. Go and enjoy yourself back uh, back in League One football, hopefully. But Bristol City have come back and saying they want 3.3 million for Jonathan Kodja. I'll offer 2.6, see what they say on that. Don't really want to be paying too much for these players at this time. But we have got our first signing here in Daniel Bentley, a massive signing for us. Thank you for, very much for the person who suggested that Daniel but we get Daniel Bentley. I know someone suggested it in the last episode, so thank you very much for that, guys. So uh, he's actually 70 rated at this point in time. So obviously, Chris Cogan is currently higher rated, but at 22 years old, Bentley, I'm going to train him quite a bit, so hopefully, by the end of the year, he'll be mid-70s at least. And Walsall have finally accepted this deal. Thank you very much. Going to offer him 4.25, exactly what he wants. And uh, that will go a long way. That will go a long way indeed. So I can't... Once again, he's probably going to be a squad rotation player. Probably going to play behind Cunningham. Maybe if he grows quite a bit, then I might play him. But uh, we'll go ahead and simulate this match now. Daniel Bentley making his debut for the squad. Let's see if we can get into the next round with a win. And we win 5-1. My word. This squad is just tearing it up now. Hopefully Bentley had a good debut. And uh, we'll go ahead and see what these emails are all about now. Now, so Alan Reach has once again declined. He's saying that he wants to understand the role he's going to have at the club. So... I really don't know what to say for that. Hugo's a bit unhappy, and uh, I'm actually... Okay, guys, so we have actually been kicked out of the preseason tournament, which is a bit annoying. We've finished third, but what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm just going to put in loads of offers for loads of different players, and as I don't want this episode to drag on for too long, I'm just going to basically show you the players who I do manage to actually capture in the end, guys. So I'm going to go ahead, put in loads of the bids now, and let's see who I can actually buy. Okay, guys, so what I've gone ahead and done is ask the board for a few extra funds, so they managed to give me 1.3 million, which I'll take, and we've actually managed to sign Adam Reed, so that's another capture that we've been able to get. 600k from Middlesbrough. He's probably not going to be our first choice this season, but it'll be a decent backup. And the next player we managed to sign, guys, is Danny Simpson as well. So for 1.2 million, not a bad capture, I'd say so. So we've got our first choice right back. So Danny Simpson, welcome to the club. And the next player we managed to sign, guys, is Jonathan Codger. For, so for 2.6 million, he's going to be our biggest signing so far, but we definitely needed a striker, and he's just the sort of striker we needed. So uh, I know he did well at Bristol City last season, and uh, I think Codger will go a long way. He's a big, tall striker who's got a lot of pace, so he'll go a long way in this Premier League season. And we finally managed to wrap up the deal for Rico Henry. So I'm definitely a big fan of him. 800k, not too bad. 19 years old, left back, and uh, from Warsaw, and he's got a massive potential. I know that for sure. And another player with that we managed to capture, a bit of a strange one perhaps, but I know we needed to strengthen our centre-back options. So I decided to go for this guy. I'm not going to pronounce his whole name, but I'm going to call him Linden. So for 1.5 million, I'd be very happy to secure his uh, services for the club. 26 years old, I think he could be a decent purchase for us. As you can see, he is 72 rated, so he'll go straight into the first team. He's six foot two. he's also left-footed, so I think he'll be a big player. Some of the stats he's got, he looks very decent indeed, including 84 free kick accuracy. So we could have found our new free kick kick taker in Linden. Okay, yeah, so another signature that we managed to get is Van La Parra. So obviously from Wolves, I'm a big fan of him in my championship uh, my championship project series. So I thought I'd bring him into the press and career mode. And uh, he looks like a good deal for 1 million. So uh, that's what I managed to snap him up for, just less than his asking price of 1.3. So Van La Parra will be a decent addition, I think. And another player that we managed to secure the services of is Rohan In. So for 1.6 million, I've splashed quite a bit out on him, but I know what he's capable of. And we desperately need a defensive midfielder. Ever since that we've allowed John Welsh to go and leave the club, we needed a defensive midfielder. And I think Rohan In could do exactly that for us. He's young. That's the sort of player I'm looking for. I'm looking for a young player, and he's as strong as an ox. He'll come straight into the first team. Okay, guys, so that will wrap up this first episode of the new season of the Press and Caramo, guys. So in the next episode, 
episode, the first bit of action we will have will be an away match to Crystal Palace to start off the Premier League season. So, of course, guys, I'm going to show you the team that we're currently rocking with at this point in time. So, this is probably the strongest team that we got available to us after all our new signings. So, I'll take you through it now. We've got Kodji up front, Stevie May playing in behind him. Then, as a midfield four, we've got Van La Parra, Daniel Johnson, Ince, who will be a massive player for us. I think Ince will be very good for us indeed. He'll probably be a lot more defensive than Johnson will. I'll actually drop him back a little bit, just so we know he's playing that defensive position, but Ince will be a big player. And then we got Jamie Walker out on the left-hand side. Then at the back four, we got Cunningham, uh, Van der Linden, who will be a big player as well for us indeed. Some of his stats are absolutely f fantastic for what we're getting for him. So, season two as well, he's pretty tall. And then we got Tom Clark and Danny Simpson at right-back. And then in there, we've got Bentley. So then onto the bench, guys, we've got Joe Garner, Jermaine Beckford, Adam Reach, Bradley Dak, Kirkland, Rita Johnson, and also Henry. So that is a very strong bench as well, guys. And the squad depth is looking pretty good as well. We've got quite a few players here who we need to, who if we need to, we could be able to call on you. We've got the likes of Humphrey, Brownhill, Brown, Gallagher, Huntington, Woods, Bailey Wright, all missing out at the moment, but could potentially forge their way into the first team later in the line, guys. So that is the current first team that we're rocking with. I'm pretty happy with our transfer business in this episode. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any more uh, uh, transfer requests that you think I should go for, as we're still in for players. This is the current budget we have. We don't have the most money left. We got 1.7 million and 18k on the wage budget, guys. But in the next episode, we will have our first Premier League matches. So coming up, we've got a big fixture list. We got Crystal Palace away, then we got Newcastle at home, then Everton away, then Aston Villa at home this month. So this is a very busy month, guys. But if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you do smash the like button. It really would help me out. And if you would like to see episode two of this uh, of season two of the new Karemo, guys, definitely smash the like button. The more, the more likes we get, the sooner I'll upload the next episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And uh, make sure you leave a like. Check out all the links in the description down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. And on and on we'll go. Turn us to thousands